So a cubic function is is not like a party where you wear a cube for a hat or anything like that. It's actually um, a function with the form f of x is equal to ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d. And all that's really saying uh, where a is not zero. And what what's that what that is really saying is that um, as long as you've got some term in there that is something x cubed and there's no um, exponents that are higher than three. You know, you don't have you know five x to the fourth or something like that. As long as you've got something like that, and it could even be as simple as y equals just x cubed, where actually that that a coefficient is, is a one that you can't really you know pretend there's a one there. One times x to the third is the same as x to the third. As long as you've got that, and there's no powers higher than three, you've got a cubic function. But you're welcome to have um, other terms in there too with lower powers. So you know, here's a full-fledged one where I've got two x to the cubed, two uh, x to the third. Um, so my coefficient there is two. That would be the corresponding to the a there. Um, but then I've also got uh, plus four x squared, you know, to the power of two minus three x. That's x to the power of one uh, plus two. Um, so these these lower powers are fine, just as long as I don't have anything that's higher than something to the third. So that's that's all that's saying, and um, so we call them third degree polynomials, these cubic functions, because their highest exponent is is three. And what that will do is they'll make a graph with this sort of shape, where um, it's kind of an S shape. I sort of think of it as an N shape. But there's these two critical points where the graph sort of changes direction. You know, it's going up this way and then up changes. It goes down, or you know, or it might be the other way around. I've, I've got, you know, let me just flip, flip this around, um, where it, you know it's it's going down and then it flips and goes up and then flips again. Uh, so there's two critical points, um, and that's that's kind of and then both ends of the graph just go off into infinity. You know, one of them will go to positive infinity and one will go to negative infinity. So that's the basic shape of the cubic function and that happens because it's got um, a term with something um, x to the third and yeah, that's that's the basic idea.